Emily Deddy here presenting two drills to improve cue ball speed control, pocketing with inside English, multi rail position, and to recognize track lines. Drill William uses extreme left English, four cue ball distances, three times per spot. An IQ measle ball can help you train. For drill one, the setup of the cue ball is at the first diamond on the short rail plus the first diamond on the long rail closest to you. Setup of the object ball is a cue ball distance away in between the second and third diamonds on the short rail. The cue ball distance is going to be close to the farther rail from you. The next cue ball distance is to the center of the table. You can see I step into the shot the same way every time with my pre-shot routine. I square my body to the middle of the shot, then I step over with my left foot so it's in line with the shot, and step forward with my right. I bend my front knee and lock my back leg. I prefer to lock my back leg so I don't jump up, but it's not required. Cue ball distance number three is close to the headstring and close to the long rail. You need to be close to the rail because that ensures that you're using extreme left English. When you follow through, you want to pull back slowly, pause, and follow through completely. Then you want to use the three second freeze and send the cue ball with your eyes. The three second freeze is holding your follow through for an extra three seconds and sending the cue ball with your eyes is following it to its location. The final cue ball distance of this drill is close to the top rail and close to the first diamond on the left hand side. This is your biggest stroke of the drill. You want to make sure to use a nice loose wrist, follow through the completely, and use more spin to send the cue ball than power. If you hit this ball too hard, you're going to flatten it out and not be able to move the cue ball easily. For drill number two, you're using extreme right English. Again, four cue ball distances, three times per spot. For this drill, you're setting up the cue ball in the middle of the table. The object ball is a cue ball distance from the rail between the first and second diamond. Your cue ball distance number one is close to the rail that's closest to you. You're using extreme right English. You want to use more spin and less power to move the cue ball. Cue ball distance number two is back to the center of the table. I like to visualize replacing the cue ball. I step in, stay down, follow through, pause on my backstroke, freeze through three seconds, and send the cue ball with my eyes. Let's talk about track lines. A track line is the path that the cue ball is moving on to get it to proper position. The cleaner your track lines are, the better your position will be. The cleaner you can visualize the path of the cue ball, the better you will get your cue ball position. Cue ball distance number three is close to the headstring and close to the long rail that's farther away from you. Again, getting close to the long rail ensures that you're using extreme right English on the shot. The final cue ball distance for this drill is close to the top rail and close to the first diamond on the right hand side. Remember, this is your biggest stroke of the drill. Use a nice loose wrist and maximum English. For both of these drills, you can shoot the ball more than three times. You can play around with different angles and different shots, giving yourself four different locations on your track lines. And you can see the cue ball for these two different drills moves along the same path, whether it's the, for top spot number one, 
two, three, or four. You can even continue it on further than spot number four. Final thoughts. This kind of drill is very easy to set up while also being highly effective at increasing cue ball speed consistency. You can get creative with the shot designs, but always be clear with the four cue ball distances. Play around with the different strokes and this will help you increase the pocketing of whatever stroke you choose. Remember to have fun and good luck. As always, thank you to my sponsor, Litman Lights. Thank you to IQ for the wonderful training device. Pick yours up at iqclinic.com. And thank you to everyone for watching. Happy New Year, and I hope you're all staying safe. Cheers.